What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're heading out onto Leighton Lakes to do some farming for whitetail. I'm going to show you where all of my zones are since the last update, and I might just share a surprise diamond with you that we found along the way. But before we head into it guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button, click the notify bell, and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. That would be awesome! And I want to thank you so much for being here today. So yesterday and for the last couple days, I haven't been feeling the greatest. So I laid on the couch all day yesterday and did nothing but farm whitetail for about 10 hours. And if you guys stick around right to the end of the video, I will share a map with you of all of my current whitetail spots. But for right now, let's talk about what it means to farm. So there are a lot of theories behind respawns and the developers of this awesome game have never really told us exactly how they work, but you know, we've pretty much figured it out over time. And the basic concept is that when you kill any animal off your map, it is going to respawn. And usually it will respawn between three and six in-game days. So you can either hunt that time away or you can change a day by moving your clock back in the outpost by one minute that moves you forward basically a day, a day less a minute. And that is how you're gonna get respawns back onto your map. So your respawns are gonna come back either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Usually they're gonna come back as the same sex and they should come back for the most part in the same weight class. So you wanna be killing all your big males. When you're farming whitetail, you wanna get all the antlered ones off your map, but start with the biggest ones first because they are more likely to come back as a diamond and possibly even a great one. And that is the goal at the end of the day for me. I would love nothing more but to bring you guys a video with the great one. So I'm gonna start off my day every day farming whitetail for a while on my map and see if I can't do that. So hopefully that'll be something we can look forward to. So when I'm farming them, I always use the M1 or the 30 odd six. Doesn't really matter which one to me, both of them are pretty decent for recoil and I do have three points in recoil management. So that makes it a lot easier to take a second one out. And looks like I just got that guy on the run. Don't know if I got a vital. And that's another thing with farming is if you don't get a vital, it's really not a big deal. Just get that animal off your map. Just make it dead. And some people farm with the 300. <laughs> that's definitely going to kill them. And it's going to get those animals off your map. And that is very effective. And if you want to do that, that is fine. Just don't shoot any diamond potential whitetail. Because, you know, level 2 whitetail can still make diamond. So whitetail go diamond at 276.8. So if that number falls within your trophy range, make sure you shoot it with the correct weapon. So you get full score because it could be a diamond. So there are some level one whitetail. They, I kill them as well. I kill whatever I can and the most that I can. Now, every time I find a zone, what I'm doing is I'm first shooting as many whitetail out of it that I can. If I'm not using a tripod, I'm only killing three at the most because I don't want to kill my zones. And then after I have shot these whitetail, I drop a tent about 200 meters away from the zone and a tripod if I have one, and then I go pick them up. Then I am set to farm them. Then I can just jump from tent to tent, from zone to zone on a daily basis and keep killing those big whitetail in hopes of better respawns. So this guy is just a silver level one, 130.7. That is just a little guy, but that was a pretty decent heart shot. And I am finding all kinds of whitetail on the bottom of the Renaki River. And I was finding all those way up above where it splits on the left-hand side before, and I barely have any up there now. So they've definitely changed. My zones have definitely changed since the last update. So yeah, it's always wise to make sure you're fully loaded before you start shooting. I usually have a good look at what white tail are here and pick out the top two or three ones I'd like to kill. 
And there's the first one and the second one ran pretty quick. Often they will give you two or three seconds to get a second shot in. But that guy was not going to give me any time there. So, you know, shoot them when they're running away. Don't worry about getting a vital. Just make them dead. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter as long as they die. You want to kill as many as you can, you know, with keeping your zone intact. That is very important because you don't want to waste time running around and looking for your zones again. It takes forever. Take it from me. So this guy is just a silver 182.6. And because I spotted the other one, it usually then takes me pretty close to the body. And I should mention that when I'm farming for Whitetail, I am always farming during their drink time and they drink from noon till three or 3.30. That's your sweet spot. And the tough part is finding them and setting everything up. That's the time consuming part of all of this. Once you have that done, it is really quick to jump around from tent to tent and zone to zone and kill a bunch of Whitetail. And so once you hit 3 p.m. or 1500, you just go and set the time back. And that's what I've done here. And then you generally have to wait a little bit. It does take them some time to get into their zone. And that can be a tricky part is sometimes you can go through an area that has white tail zones in it. But if you don't hit that spot during the right time, you're not going to find them. And so even though there may be whitetail in the area, you just gotta come by at the right time. So it can be hard to find them. Some areas where I thought there would be whitetail, there wasn't. And so I ran that area during drink time multiple times and did end up finding zones on the last run. So it just goes to show, you know, you may not find them on the first run through. But I am very excited to find a whole bunch of zones. I am gonna share that with you guys very shortly. That's it for that guy. But yeah, just getting yourself set up with your tripods and tents, just finding the zones in the first place, that's the tough part. So I'm hoping to start spawning some diamonds and rares soon. This guy is a 233.7, pretty decent gold, 87.80 kilograms. And we managed a left lung shot from 145.04 meters. And we're on Belmont Lake. I never used to have white tail on Belmont Lake, but now I do. Oh, we have some white tail here. And often I will follow them to their zone if I find them traveling. I won't shoot them right away. I'll wait till I spot their zone. I'm just keeping an eye on this guy. I'm just using my rifle. They may be drinking around here. My wind isn't too bad. What are these guys doing? I wonder if they want to come over here where I am. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Legendary bear. What is happening? Just walked up right behind the white tail. Holy moly. Okay guys, so unfortunately technology hates me and the recording of shooting this amazing bear failed and I do not have it to show you, but the good news is I did get a beautiful diamond black bear. He has a trophy of 23.2, weighs 269.8 kilograms, and we managed a right long liver stomach shot from 203.27 meters. One thing about it, you just never know what you're gonna find when you're hunting for whitetail. And this is where I found that bear. So this guy is a big one. He is, based on his trophy range, he is diamond potential, but I don't think he is going to score diamond looking at his rack, but he is a nice one. So we're gonna try and take these two guys out right now. Hopefully. That should be good, yep. Oh, that was a little too far right. No, that was no good. Let's try again. Yep, he's going down. 
Don't know if I got a vital and I really don't care. This guy floated to us. So this guy is a 258.8. He scored at the bottom of that range. Yeah, I didn't think he was a monster. And this herd of whitetail was split and these guys are about 100 meters away. So they haven't spooked. Just gonna get the middle one and that's all I want because I am not using a tripod yet. I just want to kill three because I don't want to kill my zone. I do have tents on both sides of the river, which is super handy. Highly recommend that. And it is important to mention that you can only use 16 tents on the map at any given time. No more. Trust me, I tried to put more on there. So this is the guy we got while he was fleeing. We did not manage a vital shot, but we got him off the map and that's what matters. See, and I can just go right back to my tent. Saves me all kinds of time. You want your farming to be quick and easy. And that is the guy we picked out of the middle. <laughs> that was a bit of a lucky shot. We got him in the lower neck and he's a 224.7. He's a gold. And that is up here on the Calburn River. Always one of my favorite spots to hunt in Leighton for basically everything. Okay, so now we're up in a tripod and we have white tail. We're not gonna get quite as steady a shot from up here, but we're gonna get way less hunting pressure. He did. I missed on that one. Ugh. Let's see if we can't get one more. We got him. <laughs> That's sweet, we got him, nice. So yeah, if you can take down more than one animal, that's what you want to do. And this is our first one. That's a gold. Pretty nice one. 259.5. That's a big white tail. That is a big buck. Looking forward to this guy's respawn. I will definitely be checking back here. Now I have heard that your respawns may respawn in the same spot, but they may also respawn in a different spot. So as I go along and farm these white tail, I will let you guys know what's going on with my respawns. So this is the one we got on the trot. He is a silver 192.2. Not a big guy, but any antlered whitetail needs to die. And this is where we found them. And this is going to be the last whitetail that we shoot for today's video. And then we're going to head right into the map. And this is a nice one. And he did. Go have a look at him. Yeah, so I was so surprised I found two whitetail zones on South Lake. And this guy, wow, that's the biggest one we shot for today's video for sure. 260.8. This guy weighs 92.69 kilograms. Beautiful buck. Managed a double lung shot from 191.7 meters. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, two zones on South Lake. That's this lake right here. That's not really a lake that I've hunted much in the past, but I'll definitely be hunting here now for sure. Two whitetail zones, all right. So I put a tent and a tripod right up there. And once I hunt that zone, I can just run around the corner and hunt the other one. What I might do is just put my tent in the middle. It depends on the wind, but you wanna maneuver your tents to be in between zones whenever you possibly can. And this is my codex. I probably have five pages behind it that look exactly like this. I killed just a pile of these today. I'm trying to keep tally on how many I shoot. So I have a number for you when I do find the great one. And here's where I found all the white tail on my map. I will be posting this map to my discord. Would love for you guys to join and I will leave a link in the description below. So I started out by going to all of my old whitetail zones and checking there. Some of them were still there and a lot of them had moved. And then I just basically ran the map a couple times and this is what I came up with. Now the lake in the pink on the left hand side, that is a spot where I found a level three whitetail drinking, but that was on my PC account. I am farming on my Xbox. So I hope that gives you guys a good starting point to head out and hopefully find some whitetail. 
You may not have the exact same zones, but it's a good place to start. And I think that is where we're going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can join us for more videos. We have lots of awesome content in the works. Until next time, you take care. We'll see you soon.